So, moving from a West European country to a East European country comes with some rather interesting surprises. In this video, I'm going to talk about three things that really stood out to me since I've moved here. What's up guys, my name is Raf. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the country where I'm currently residing, which is Hungary. So a little background here. I'm originally from the Netherlands and I moved to Hungary around three years ago. Um, the main reason for that, I'm gonna leave for another video because it's quite an interesting story. So if you are curious about that, definitely subscribe. So you might be thinking of moving here yourself or you just happen to have landed here through YouTube's weird recommendations. Haven't we all been there? So the first thing that really stood out to me since I've arrived here is the overall relaxed approach to everything. So an important line here is if it's not done today, then it's done tomorrow or the day after. Or the day after that. But really, coming from the Netherlands, it was quite the difference. Let me give you a quick example of a Dutch cashier versus a Hungarian cashier. Goedemiddag. Oh shit, three in the rij. Kassa erbij. Tashi, Tashi. Jona Patki van ook. So generally people tend to be more relaxed here, but hear me out. I'm not saying that having a, a relaxed mindset is something bad. I just think there should be a healthy middle way. The second thing that really stood out to me is the year round awesome weather conditions. When you think of East Europe, you might be thinking about cold, harsh Siberian winters with snow and ice. But when it's about Hungary, that's quite the misbelief. I was welcomed here with long and warm summers and usually the good weather starts around April and lasts until October or something with uh, July and August being the peak months where temperatures tend to be above 30 degrees. Uh, the months leading up to that and the months after that generally are between 20 and 30 degrees. When it does get winter, the winter is actually very mild. So last winter, I believe the lowest uh, temperature was minus eight degrees Celsius, which was in the night and was just before sunrise. So very nice temperatures. But the one thing that really stood out to me is the sheer lack of rain. I mean, coming from a country like the Netherlands, which absolutely excels in this lovely combination of abysmal rain with horrible winds. For all you Dutch people who are watching, I feel you. I feel you. After checking this on the internet, I found out that the Netherlands has a total of 217 days of rain. 217. I mean, come on, that's like 60% of the year rain. Whereas Hungary only has around 90 days of rain per year, which is about 25%. So yeah, big, big difference. The final and last thing that really shocked me is the salary. So let me tell you a little story here. When I moved here three years ago, I immediately started searching for a part-time job uh, just to earn a, a little extra cash on the side. I found this customer representative position at BP, which is like a large oil multinational. They were looking for someone who spoke Dutch and well, yeah, I speak Dutch, so I thought, well, heck, why not? So I came there fully prepared with my best clothes on and a very big smile. The interview was going very smooth and the people who interviewed me were very kind. And I was thinking, well, this could be a place where I can work in the near future, maybe. But then we came to the part where they asked me, how much do you expect to earn? I knew that the salary here was never going to be the same as in 
the Netherlands, so I already made peace with that. Back in the Netherlands, I had this student logistics jobs which made me like 12 or 13 euros per hour. I thought, all right, it's hungry, salary is lower here. I can do like maybe eight euro per hour. The cost of living here is lower, so eventually it will even out. But oh boy, was I mistaken. They told me the salary for this job is 1250 forint per hour, but they were willing to raise it to 1500 forint per hour because they really needed to fill this position. That's literally the same amount of money as that I was making when I was 14 years old and I had my first summer job at this greenhouse. <laughs> so yeah, I thank the people who were interviewing me there because they were very kind and friendly and I went on my way. Since then I started learning how to code and I started freelancing and that has been my primary source of income ever since. So all is good now. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. It was not me coding, but uh, just talking about my experiences. And I hope you also like this kind of video format. Please like this video so that the YouTube algorithm picks it up. And if you want to see more, yeah, maybe subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.